This is Tundra's other three kittens in her massive litter. We have a silver, a brown, and a mink. So kind of like a, a little rainbow right here. I almost want to joke and say, all right, a brown, a silver, and a mink went into a bar. Hmm. And the brown says, oh. <laughs> I don't know. You guys have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> hmm. So they, these guys are obviously very susceptible to the shoulder rubs. These are the shoulder rubs that we like to do. Oh, I mean, who doesn't like shoulder rubs? Yeah. So the silver is a boy. And we decided to go with the word birch because birch, which is a native tree of New Hampshire, it's a state tree actually, is, has, white bur has white bark. It is actually the only known tree with white bark and the white bark peels and the Indians used to actually use the bark and uh, gathering water and a lot of other things. So here's the silver. It's from Tundra. Let's take a look. Nicely spaced. Nice horizontal flow pattern. You can see where the rosettes have broken up down the back. Same thing on the other side. Nice spaced. Um, we just put on some Advocate, so these guys are a little wet on their shoulders. It's drying still. And here's the mink. We, we did mink is willow, which we had a, a debate. Is willow a girl name? Because, hmm. you know, there's willow off good from the movie Willow. He was a boy. I thought Willow was a pretty name for a girl. So what's really interesting about Willow is she's a charcoal mink. Which see, look, you can see on the face. That's the charcoal mask right there. She would be a light charcoal though, not a dark charcoal. And uh, we actually have a, a kitten from Tundra and Zora who was a light charcoal and that was Mirage. So we'll have a photo of Mirage up so you guys can see what this girl, Willow, is going to look like. Very similar. But let me show you her pattern. Big, large rosettes that are opening up. So down the pattern is breaking up. Same thing. Back here. Large rosettes. We'll have some photos. Show that off. Uh-oh, Birch is going to fall. Come here. Come here, little girl. Come here, sit with me. Sit with me. We all know how much you like that. See? I'll keep you safe. Don't you worry. So we got another girl. She actually looks very cheetah-like. What's interesting about her is that most of our browns have donut rosettes, which I always like to claim is not a true wild pattern. Because if you look in nature or National Geographic or anything, really, coat, blanket, or whatever that has a leopard design, they are not donut rosettes. It's actually not found in nature. Instead, you have a wild pattern. See? Ooh, wild pattern. So you can see down the back, all the rosettes breaking up. She's so gorgeous. She reminds me of Lewis. I'll have an image of Lewis up as a comparison. And there she is. And she's got a face that looks like a little cheetah. Hmm. Let me see. Thank you, little cheetah. Little cheetah. We're getting so late in the afternoon that we're actually outside the play period. And we're getting back into I am ready to sleep period. <laughs> See if I can wake them up a little bit. Or would you like to have a bird? It's a little birdie. A little birdie told me 
Still a little too tired. Still can't wake you up. Love those shoulder massages. Can't get wrong with that. My my brown, my ink, and my silver. I'm telling you.